What's up, Tribe? How you guys doing? I did not forget about you. I know we haven't talked about our book in a couple of days. It's been a long week, y'all. It's been a lot going on this week. But I am here. We are on. We are technically on day 12. But excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and talk about day 11 because I'm not going to skip a day. And I'd rather us be a day behind than me skip a day, right? So day 11 is where we left off. And again, this is another one of those. It's really cute the way it's illustrated. And what it says is sometimes the worst place you can be is in your own head. And I am, oh my gosh, I am that person. Write down the three thoughts that pop into your mind. So like the first three things that pop into my mind or the things that get in my head. You know what? You know what, a, what, what eats me, what gets in my head and will eat me? Is if I have a disagreement with somebody or I think I offended somebody until I get a chance to really talk to that person and make sure that I have cleared the air with that person, it really will eat at me. And a lot of times I talk to the person and they be like, girl, I wasn't even thinking about that. Or girl, I ain't tripping. But it eats at me. It, it really gets in my head. And I always go straight to worst case scenario. And you know what I mean? So that's one thing that really, really, really gets in my mind and really eats at me. You know what else will eat at me? I'm telling y'all a little bit of my private business now. What really, really eats at me is when I have money on my mind. The week of payday, honey, I spent all week internalizing what bills I'm going to pay, what bills I'm not going to pay, when when this was due, when that was due, what did I forget to pay, pay myself. Um, I really, really do internalize a lot of that. And I know it's not good. And I try my best to not let it consume me. But it is a really bad habit that I have. So I know that that's at least two of the three things that I'll probably write in this box. So think about it, you guys. Meditate on those things that you allow to live in your head. And I'm going to take it up. Let me make sure that's not day 12. Hold on, because sometimes... Okay, I'm going to wait till day 12 because day 12 sort of addresses what I was getting ready to say. So I'm going to wait till day 12. So we're going to do day 12 tomorrow. Now, what I want, um, I want to make sure I, re I reiterate the fact that we're going to do a giveaway when I set up the live stream with Janai. Um, and we, so we'll talk with, um, we'll have a live stream with her and talk about the book. I am trying to schedule it for this weekend. I have not been able to confirm a time yet. Once I do, I will schedule it as a, um, a live on my YouTube page. So you know how you can schedule it and you'll see, okay, I'm going to go live Sunday at three o'clock and I'll put on their book club chat with author. So you'll know exactly what the live is about. But as soon as I can confirm it, I will do it. Also, like I said, I'm doing a book, a signed copy giveaway. So you got to show up for the live. Got to show up for the live. And I will make some, I will randomly pick some folk that are in the chat. So you can't be in the bushes. I got to know you in the live so that I can randomly pick some folk. Um, I think the fairest way to do it is that I'll put the people's names on a sheet of paper and I'll pull the names out. Because if I just say, oh, look, that person, that person, that person, then y'all swear I just pick people I like. So I want to keep it fair. So when we do the live, you got to come out the bushes, participate in the conversation with the um, author, and then I will, um, and I will make a determination at that time how many books. I'm thinking right now anywhere from three to five. I ain't rich. But anywhere from three to five books. So I hope you guys can join me maybe by tomorrow night. When we do tomorrow night's meditation, I will have an exact date and time of when we will do this. Okay? Looking forward to seeing you guys there. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I hope it's helping. Um, this is not a miracle worker. Like, it's not going to make everything in your life perfect. But hopefully, it will make you think on some things. It will help you process some things. It will help you identify some things, right? How many people are still taking their 15-minute meditation? How many people are still doing their 15 minute of unplugging every day? I told you guys I do it in the morning, and I have not been good. I'm going to tell you why I haven't been good the last couple of days. Because I, I told you I'm a political junkie. So ever since they started using the word impeach, honey, I've been getting up in the morning, and I've been turning it. Um, I've been going straight for my alerts on my phone, and I've been watching the news in the morning instead of 
silence like I told you guys I was doing. So I'm going to try to do that tomorrow morning. But y'all yeah, just be so nosy. I have to go look at my morning Joe and see what they talking about. And so I'm lying because tomorrow morning they're going to have Nancy Pelosi or morning Joe. But I will find another 15 minutes tomorrow to unplug. Okay? Let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Talk to y'all later. Peace.